What's up, everyone? Today we have the best center back build that you can use for competitive and divisions. Let's get right into it. So for your position, we went with center back instead of full back. The main reason we went with center back is because the defending and physical stats will be much, much better compared to full back. Then height, we went with 6'7". This is a very, very good height. This is more than enough to our jump your opponents. And then for weight, we went with 119. You're not going to be too heavy. The main reason we didn't go too heavy with this build is because since you are playing tall already, the movement and the jockeying might not be quick enough. So that's why we lower down the weight. So that's a good balance between being tall and having a good weight. Then for your foot, we went with the right one. It's all up to you. So this is how you want your weight and your height to be. Now we have the running style, everyone. Remember, this is just a visual thing. This do not affect any of your stats. It's just a visual thing. But I recommend you guys using the dasher. This is the running style that I've been using this entire year for FIFA 23 Pro Clubs. And it's really good, man. It's really good to track in your opponents and track him back to your position. It just makes your guy look faster. Again, it does not affect any of stats. It just make it look faster. So highly recommend you using the dasher. Now, for your three perks, the first one I recommend you to use is the physical strength. This is going to boost your strength, your ball control, the jumping, shielding, and when you're he heading the ball, which that's what you want as a defender. We also made a separate video explaining what perks do. You guys can go check that out, but go with your physical strength for the first one. For your second one, we went with the interceptor. This has been my personally favorite perk as a defender this year. It's not only going to improve the ability to for you to intercept the ball, but it's going to actually lock you on to the interception. Even when you're kind of far away from the ball, it will still lock you on to the passing lane so you can intercept the ball. So I highly recommend you to use the interceptor. Third but not least is the chase down perk. The defender is quicker to recover and chase back when possession is changed. So when your teammates loses the ball, it's going to kick in and it's going to also boost your pace a bit. So you can go with the chase down for your third one. And then, guys, we didn't go with the ball winner perk because that does too many automatic tackles. And that sometimes can screw you over. It can lead to a penalty. It can lead to an unnecessary foul. So that's why we did not go with the ball winner perk because it does too many automatic tackles. But these are the three perks that we went with. Physical strength, interceptor, and chase down. Now we have the skill tree. want to remind everyone that this works well for old gen and new gen. So let's get it going. So for this left side, we're going to get the bolt archetype. We're going to upgrade the reactions. Aggression. Aggression. For this reaction, you know, press it twice so you can get two out of two. For this right side, we're getting jumping. Reactions again. We're getting the acrobat, archetype. We're getting the jumping. And then we're getting the jumping. And then for this reaction, you're going to leave it like this. You're going to leave it one out of two. So this is going to give you 92 jumping, which is insane. You have 92 jumping and you're 6'7". So that's a very, very good combination then 90 stamina that is more than enough you have 95 strength which is very 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 good and then you have that 99 aggression which that combination is going to be very very deadly you're going to be easily easily able to outbody your opponents and then you have the 94 reactions which that's very useful well when you're going for tackles you want your pro to make quick tackles so that reaction is really good like that so this is how you want your physical to look like. Now for defending, we are maxing it all out. That is your job to defend. We're going to max all this out. You're going to have 95 interceptions. But I think the most important thing here is the 99 defensive awareness, which is insane. Defensive awareness this year is the most important thing as a defender because that's going to allow your pro to intercept the ball much better, make much cleaner tackles and slide tackles. So you do want that defensive awareness to be very high. And this one gives you 99 defensive awareness. Then you have the 92 standing tackle and then the 95 slide tackle. Those are more than enough to make tackles and slide tackles against your opponent. But this is how you want your defending to look like. Now for dribbling, we are going to upgrade the agility. We're going to upgrade the dribbling for this right side. We're going with ball control, balance, balance, and then balance again. So... You have seven agility. The main reason we upgraded the agility in this build is because since you are playing tall, your turning of direction isn't going to be the greatest. That That's normal with tall builds. So we went with agility. It's going to give you seven agility. It might not be the best agility, but guys, this is more than enough for you to turn quick. 
and you know make those tackles or slide tackle and then the other important thing here i went with is the balance this is really good because it's going to reduce the chances of your player falling on the ground when other opponents challenge you whether it's defenders or attackers or midfielder whenever they challenge you you're going to have less chance of falling down and the balance with the high aggression and strength is really going to make it difficult for opponents to knock you down so this is how you want your dribbling to look like next we have the passing so for this we're just going to upgrade the short passing vision and then vision vision it's going to determine how accurate the passes is to your teammate whether you're doing a short pass or long pass the vision will determine how accurate it comes but yeah you have 79 short passing that is more than enough to find nearby teammates the long passing at the 67 i know it's not the greatest but if you give it the right amount of power you can get away with the 67 long passing um, but other than that those are the important tasks for the passing and then for shooting everyone we are going to get the four star weak foot this year it is super super noticeable when a center back has a three star weak foot so i highly highly recommend you to upgrade it to a four star weak foot we went with this side instead of the other one because this one is also going to boost the heading accuracy which that's going to determine how accurate the headers are and for some people it might help you with corner kicks or just scoring headers so definitely recommend you to use this part of the weak foot and then last but not least we got the pace everyone we're gonna max it out you do want to have some pace as a center back for me personally i don't play with that much pace but i know a lot of you guys do like to have pace so we're maxing out the pace on this one this is going to be this should be more than enough for you to catch up to your opponents i always say this center back is all about positioning if you know how to position yourself you can get away with less pace we back out, you're going to be a 93 rated center back. You're going to have 86 pace, 94 physical, 95 defending, 67 dribbling, 74 passing, and then the shooting doesn't matter. But yeah, you're going to be 6'7", 86 pace, 94 physical, and 95 defending. You're going to be a nightmare for attacker's opponent. But other than that, everyone, let me know what do you guys think about this build. Try it out. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.